deck. Thank you, Tim. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me well? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so praise is a system we've been using in Giveth and the Common Stack and the TEC and a few other communities are starting to implement it now. And praise is basically um, a way to share decentralized updates in a form of gratitude. So uh, we share what we are grateful for that we see in the community. And this uh, gratitude is eventually quantified into a number that can turn into a token. And this token can be used for governance or for reputation, uh, for multiple uses that we're also still exploring. And then the common stack, they work uh, basically as uh, reputation. So through praise, we distribute trust. And trust is a token uh, is the trusted seed token and is the token that opens the gates for uh, participating in the commons economies that we've been um, that we've been co-developing uh, in the common stack with the communities we've been working on. So uh, with the token engineering commons, we used trust to um, for individuals to enter the hatch phase. So only people who had trust could participate in the hatch of the TEC. And then um, now uh, we'll, we'll use probably a similar process with grassroots economics. And in the common stack, we were using the old praise system that was based on spreadsheets. And uh, it required a lot of time to uh, quantify all the praise and to distribute the trust. And then now we're upgrading to the new praise system uh, that has a dashboard and a more automated quantification process where we can divide the praise that is gonna be quantified into multiple people and reduce a lot the time that is used to do that. So yeah, I think we'll uh, hear a little bit more of the product and how it is right now and hear questions about everyone and how can you use praise? Why would praise be interesting to your community? Um, why is praise an amazing social tool and, and things like that? Thanks, Livia. Uh, if, if, if this is an AMA also, I think it might be fun to talk about the origins of praise because it's kind of a cool story. Uh, the praise praise developed started in praise development really started with Giveth in 2016 2017 uh, through the system called Reward DAO, and uh, it had many iterations. and uh, And then Giveth's Reward DAO sort of fused with a process that was uh, pioneered at Burning Man in uh, Camp Decentral, where we started dishing praise verbally. Uh, and along with shame, actually, we also just shame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we would, uh, at, during our meals, it was kind of a, a way to bring everyone together and talk about the, the boundaries of the organization, right? And so the rules with praise and shame at Burning Man were that you praise people for their work. Oh, this person really stepped up for, you know, when someone missed their shift or whatever, but then you shame behavior, right? You don't shame people. So I was like, oh, who, there was a hammer. We found a hammer out on the playa. It wasn't in its correct place. Shame, 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 you know? And then, oh, this person covered for this other person's shift. Oh, they're so great. Praise, 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 you know? And it was really fun. And it, it, uh, you could see that it added a lot of quality to the, to the relationships between people through this lens of gratitude. And, and so eventually uh, for common stack actually combined the reward DAO work with the praise work at burning man and we created these original these little bots uh to start um to and really pioneered this with the token engineering commons and of course within the token engineering commons uh we found some real issues with the way praise was being quantified and the patterns that arose and to the point where there was a praise mageddon 
uh, and things uh, things got a lot better after that. Um, we took the lessons learned from the initial reputation tokens that were issued for Token Engineering Commons and uh, developed uh, really Christopher uh, took on as product owner and and manager and just started like addressing the needs of our, of the users and in a very professional way and so now we have a real praise product and it's about time that we get it the the full system working in the common stack so maybe maybe I can pass it to Christopher I think you're taking it next right and of course, if anyone has any questions, feel free to uh, interrupt. Thanks, Griff. Uh, but if you don't want to interrupt, you can also draft them in the community hall channel. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we'll ask them at the end, or in the middle. Sorry, Chris. Um, OK, so I'll, I'll, um, I'll demo praise for you and uh, go through the different parts of the system just on, on a fairly high level uh, as high level description and then we show hands on how, how it actually works the, the, the bot because uh, um, the, 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 the new place bot actually is already installed and set up for, for common stack so it's uh, ready to be, be used uh, as of today or as of yesterday. I'll share my screen and um, uh, start talking about the different modules um, uh, of praise or you know, praise is about acknowledging and rewarding community contributions or that community members they, they acknowledge each other's uh, contributions so that the, the first step of, of, of praising is acknowledging these contributions and then so this is a li little bit of recap what what uh, Libby said um, Acknowledging happens through the, the Discord bot. Uh, currently, uh, it's only the Discord bot. We have in, in, in the works, we have a Telegram bot, and we're planning for other, other bots as well. The second step of the process is uh, quantifying, turning those uh, subjective praise into uh, quantified and uh, attaching a score to each praise. Is it a small contribution or, or a huge contribution? Uh, that is the, the task of the quantifiers to determine. Uh, the third step is uh, to export all, all this uh, praise data for, for a period. We quantify in, in periods. So, so I mean, for the TEC, we're using, uh, we're quantifying biweekly. Uh, it's a good period. Uh, then we analyze, we export and analyze the data. We, we do, do, and, and uh, we also produce a token distribution. Uh, so let me go. Uh, into a little bit more detail into these different various steps. Uh, acknowledging praise using the, 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 the Discord bot. Um, the purpose with the one purpose with praise is really tracking the stuff that other reward systems miss. So it's a, a complementary to, to, to systems such as uh, grants or, or bounties or fixed working group budgets. So this is sort of on top in, in addition to capturing stuff that is, would, would otherwise not, not be captured. Uh, so it, what you see on the screen here is an example of how uh, interacting with the praise bot could, could look. Uh, but instead of showing you this dull screen, I will actually show you how it looks in, in real life. Let's see if, if this works. So uh, here I'm logged into a, a demo server. And I will um, show you how, how to how to praise someone's action. So in, in this case, I would like to uh, praise. Uh, oh, this is the test server, so it's only only me here. Uh, praise Christopher, not praise uh, Christopher for doing the for doing the presentation. So this is uh, the, this is it. You, you type slash praise um, the person you want to praise and the reason why you, why you want to praise the, the, the person. Um, so I'm sending this now and oh, yikes. Uh, my account is not activated yet. And activation in the world of praise means connecting your Discord user ID with your Ethereum wallet address because without connecting those two, you won't be able to receive the rewards when we pay out the, those rewards. So the, the bot here instructs me to type slash 
dash activate to activate my account. Uh, activate, so I'll follow its instruction. Um, activate and follow this link. This link take, takes me to the, to the Pace dashboard screen where I will uh, sign a, a message using uh, MetaMask. I don't think you see my sign screen. And uh, when that is completed, my, my Praise activation is done. So to become a, a Praise giver in, in Common Stack or what, uh, whatever community uses Praise, that, that, that is the only step you need to take. So now I'll try again. Praise. Christopher for something. Flip and, and you get a, a green check mark telling me that everything is, uh, is okay. Uh, so that's it. That is how you activate your account and send praise. Uh, the next step then would be uh, quantification. And, and quantification is uh, this process of turning the subjective praise into uh, quantified, uh, turn, turning the, the subjective into to the objective or the, the quantitative. Uh, and this is a hard task. So, so uh, quantifying is done by a group of uh, community volunteers that uh, sign up for, for this job. So it's somewhat like a, a jury duty. You, you sign up to be a, be a part of the quantifier pool. And when you uh, are allowed into the quantifier pool, you will be assigned praise when, when it's time for quantification. So each quantification period, we try to assign a fairly low number of praise to each, uh, each quantifier so that the, the workload will not be too, too high. So somewhere around 100 praise per person. So the work should take at maximum like 30 minutes. And uh, uh, let's see if I can show you how that quantification uh, works in real life. Then I need to switch wallet address so that I, I don't I need to log in with my uh, admin user. So I'm logging into the praise dashboard which is the place where, where you interact with the, the Praise backend, where you can administer if you're an administrator. And you also, as a user, can see a summary of, of your, all the Praise you have received. And one of the features we are we're planning to build is a, like an analytics dashboard where you really will be able to see more information about the Praise you have sent and the Praise you have received, and also uh, information about other users. So you can see here on the screen, um, this praise I just sent, I sent it from my test user to my, my real user, uh, and there it is. So uh, quantification periods. Uh, this, uh, what you see on the screen here is, uh, uh, the data is coming from the TEC. I've imported it to our test server and set up a test period uh, that, that begins on uh, last of May or 28th of May and, and ends on 19th of June. Um, and this, uh, this period has an, yeah, here can, you can see a summary of all the received praise. And uh, I've already started the quantification. So I have already assigned quantifiers and made sure that I uh, have been assigned as a quantifier. Uh, so I'm notified already on the first screen that uh, the quantification is open and you can perform quantifications here for the, this test period. So I select this here. And um, uh, start quantifying. So I, I, I'm assigned a number of users and I'm, I'm assigned all their praise uh, for, for this period. Yeah. And um, yeah. this here uh, is the user streamered. And uh, the, the, uh, the work of quantifying means that I, I should look at each uh, praise item. And, and assign a numerical score to it. So I should determine is it a, a small or a large contribution where the, the smallest contribution in our case is we give that a, a, a score of one and the largest contribution we give it a score of 144. Uh, so it's a, it's a logarithmic scale or Fibonacci sequence. It has a, a, some, some good purposes, but each community can select the scale themselves. So it can be a scale of one to 10, which I wouldn't recommend, but that is possible as well. So I, I set a few scores, but then, then uh, also I can have the, the, the option to mark praise as duplicates, like these two. Perhaps they are really similar, so they are most, mostly they are referring to the same contribution. Then I check them both and then select mark as duplicate. 
uh, I give the original praise a score and uh, mark as duplicates. And then the second one will be marked as a duplicate of the first one. Uh, all in all, going back to this static screen, this uh, generates a, I can show you on the live screen as well, um, on, a, on a, a closed period. Uh, when the quantification is closed, um, this generates a, a total praise score for each, each user. Uh, and so in this period, the, this real period that ended the May 14th, the Gideon and, uh, was the, the, the praise score winner uh, for the TEC. And um, we can have a look at how the, his praise was being quantified. For instance, here was a fairly high score praise, 16, or let's take, yeah, as it lays a praise as Gideon for, for doing the new medium post transparency within DAO. And as you can see, this is really important that this praise has been quantified by four different quantifiers. So that is the, the purpose with that is to avoid the risk of body praising or, or gaming the system. Like I praise you if you praise me and then we give each other high scores when it's time for quantifying. And, and so since uh, the quantifiers are randomly assigned and also each praise is quantified by more than one person, the risk of gaming is uh, fairly low, uh, we, would, we believe. Uh, so the four, quantified by four persons, the, the, the final score is, uh, rep, is the average of, of those four scores. Uh, so what's next? We have praised and we have quantified the praise. Uh, and the next step is uh, to, uh, to export this praise and to do some analysis. Because we want to use praise as a signal uh, we, the, the, we, Praise produces a really, really rich data set, uh, a data set that no other reward system produces. Uh, information about what goes on in the community, information about who is active in the community. It gives a sense of the sentiment in the, in the communities. If people really, what kind of words are they using? What kind of actions are they praising? So we can do all sorts of, of interesting data analysis to uh, gain a sense of, of the community well-being and, and stuff like that. Stuff like who are the new users? Who are the active users? What, what kind of user churn rate do we have? It's really easy to see like a new user coming in, starts getting praised, and then it drops off uh, three weeks later. Then we know that that user has left us most likely. Uh, so we can define uh, these keywords, these metrics, uh, and uh, uh, follow, follow them up in, in uh, this analytics dashboard. So we, we are we export the, all the praise data, we, we pull it into an external uh, anal analysis tools where we produce these analysis reports. And instead of showing you these static screens, I will pull up one of these reports. Uh, so in the, for the TEC, we, um, we take these analysis reports and we produce a, a forum post um, um, where we, list uh, the, the top 10 most, uh, the, the top 10 high score praise, as well as linking to the full report, the full analysis here that looks like this. Um, so in the full analysis, we, we visualize the distribution of praise scores, uh, which were the, the, the top receivers, uh, um, the top givers in this case, Mount Manu is the, the number one giver because he has sent praise on behalf of others. Uh, and people often like to see this graph, which is, uh, shows which were the big senders and the big, big receivers and how were they connected. So, um, so that is a, a, some analysis. And then we also look at a, a, a cross period analysis where we look at over, over a lo longer time span, where we can see how, for instance, how, on how the number of praise givers uh, increase over time, which is a really nice metric uh, for the TEC, seeing like the people become more and more active, people start using praise. So I'm not going to dig any deeper into the analytics, uh, but doing the analytics session together with the quantifier is a really really important tool in the process of uh, bringing the quantifiers together uh, talk about the the quantification process um and uh, like this post quant analysis sessions and, and build cultural practices uh, around praise and and build yeah 
And this uh, tool also produces uh, the, the token distribution uh, that we then feed into, in, in the case of the TEC, we feed it into Aragon to, to um, distribute TEC tokens uh, for, for, for a common stack, it will be instead trust tokens, now, which is a non-monetary, like skin in the game uh, token. And um, each community has its own way of distributing uh, the rewards. It can also be used as uh, for minting a POAP token or be used as a source of reputation, uh, reputation score or any other kind of uh, way of, of distributing this, uh, th these rewards. I think maybe I sa I've said everything I plan to say. Should I say anything more? Um, rules of phrase concept. This, uh, we, Run through the whole system, I believe. There's a, there's a question from Siegfried. Um, yeah. But I think he was speaking specifically to, I don't know which slide, but why are those duplicates when they come from different addresses? Oh, I think you must have meant uh, duplicate phrase. So, yeah. uh, so, so we, we define duplicate phrase as, as a phrase referring to, du to the same contribution. So it's not an actual uh, copy, it's not the actual exactly the, the, the same phrase being sent twice, but it's actually two different phrase, but referring to the same contribution. So we, we praise contributions, we don't praise people, uh, and um, one contribution is one contribution. If we, that, that of course is totally up to the community to decide if we want to allow multiple praise for one contribution, but we believe that it, it, we run the risk of praise becoming a popularity contest if we, uh, allow multiple praise for the same contribution. But, but uh, uh, it's also worth mentioning that if we, we have a setting where we, we configure the duplicate praise to get a percentage of the original one. And that is also configurable. So it can be in the case of the TEC, we are saying that every duplicate get 10% of the original praise score. Uh, so it's not totally worthless worthless to do a, 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 the same contribution as someone else. Cool. And Griff apologizes he had to leave on an emergency. So I'm going to pick up the MC role here. I see Siegfried is writing something. And I'm going to wait for you to finish, unless you just want to unmute and ask your question, Siegfried. Oh, OK. OK, cool. Yeah, a second. Uh, I was just wondering, like, um, if you have like many praises in your quantifier list, uh, isn't it easily like um, overlooked that there has been given like uh, different praises for one and the same action that you might want to classify as a duplicate if you see it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Could you could you say that again? If there there's a long list, I'm just wondering, like. Um, uh, you you are quantif you are quantifying a few um, praises, mm -hmm. but what what if like uh, you get assigned one action uh, like one praise for one action and another person gets uh, for the same action a different praise? So how would you figure out what's a duplicate? Uh, that is not possible, or rather. Um... I, as a, a quantifier, always get assigned all, all the praise for one person for one period. The praise, but, but that doesn't happen because we always get assigned all, all, all the praise for one user for one period. Okay, yeah, okay, that reduces the likelihood to overlook duplicates. I got it. Thanks. It, it can happen if, if uh, uh, those duplicate praise uh, come on a different side of uh, the, the, the period cutoff, of course. If, uh, if I praise one contribution one week and then we close down the period and then someone else praises the same contribution the next week, which would be a new praise period, that is difficult, um, but Got at it. least as long as the, the rules are the same for, for everyone, uh, we believe it's uh, uh, at least fair.
Cool. And then if there are uh, any other right. questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, we're going to move into talking a little bit about uh, the timeline. Waka, I saw you unmuted. What have you got? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, I guess, yeah, if, if there is a way I could look at the presentation, because it's a little too small on my screen to see it. Um, so back in February, I remember um, uh, the talk about adding some uh, source cred scores to augment the praise mechanism. Did that ever happen? Uh, yes and no. And uh, so, so source cred, it, when we initially began drafting um, the new prey system last uh, fall, we were discussing you know, how do we integrate source cred with this? Should source cred be fed into praise or should praise be fed into source cred or should they run in parallel? And then in the end, we, we ended up with uh, allowing them to, to run in parallel. And instead, it's the, this analysis tool that we use at the end. Uh, that, that, that bring those two data streams together. So, so praise and source cred run completely separate, and then we export the, the information from source cred, export from 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 praise, and then we bring bring it bring it together in the analysis. So, what's what's your uh, mix? I mean, 50-50, 80-20? When it comes to to rewards uh, distribution, how do you combine the two scores? Um. Yeah, we, we have a token allocation for, for the TEC is the only thing I can speak for. Uh, so in the TEC, we dis distribute a fixed number of tokens each month. And I think uh, that the distribution is between... Praise. When yes, you combine them, you combine them in equal measure, you know, 50-50, yes. 20 how no, do you I'm, give weights to I'll the just two? 75-25, uh, I believe. Uh, we do because we we, we value the, the the source grid data uh, quite much uh, the, uh, lower than the price for. And in your yeah, case, source grid is all about discord, right? Sorry, so I think it's worth mentioning. Sorry, I just also want to worth mentioning something that um, it's specific for the TEC community that we're talking about with source cred. Uh, currently, there is no plans for common stack. To use source cred okay. for okay. Uh, interesting. Computer. I get it. Uh, so, what what would you estimate the the workload? I mean, my community is balking at filling out uh, coordinate uh, once every two weeks, uh, which is like a fifteen minute exercise. Are you finding people uh, a bit overwhelmed with uh, praising? uh they can become we for the tec we had a, a big backlog to to work our way through we had nine months of old praise a praise from the old system that we had to work our way through in the new system so we did we quantified one month every week uh, uh for, for nine weeks in a row uh, that was a bit too much um, because that then the, the work of quantifying was like one hour per week per quantifier almost that that made people tired after a while. Uh, currently, we try to try to assign maybe a third of, of that amount and biweekly. So it's like thirty minutes of work uh, every two weeks. And we try to, so I, I, I see, I think the ideal setup is that you have a, a really large uh, quantifier pool if you can manage to find that many quantifiers. And uh, so not only is the, the, the workload only like 30 minutes every time you get assigned, but you will also get assigned uh, as a quantifier maybe only once every two or three months or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that also it, even more reduces the risk of people trying to game the system. If you have a, a big pool, a small number of people getting assigned each time, and yeah, yeah, yeah I wonder, Olivia, uh -huh. is there? Go ahead, Waka. Hi, Olivia. How are you doing? Um, yeah. Um, so, what's the best way to get some hands-on with this kind of one assistance? You folks are looking 
for other people to use it now that it's a product, uh, how can I get some hands on with it? Well, you can activate your praise on Common Stack Discord server right now. Okay, activate. <laughs> and, and, yeah, you could activate on the praise channel right now by uh, just typing slash activate. It's and already so done. I gave it an address, MetaMask, everything. Oh, great. Nice. So the, the then the then continuously uh, continue to, to to get a hands-on experience with using praise is to just lean back, uh, praise the people within the within common stack, um, uh, volunteer to become a, a quantifier, uh, and uh, so to be, get a feel of how, how quantifying feels. Because in a, in a few weeks we will do we will start quantifying, or maybe even next week. I don't know what we said. Um, and um, with yeah, the ambassador of goodwill for this in other words who do i bother when i get stuck <laughs> yeah. um so so the, in the in the in the comments stack there will be a rewards working group uh Guys, consisting of me a, and and, and living in the... sorry to interrupt this is actually part of the presentation so we're gonna we're gonna dive into that right now Walker, and i hope that sure. a lot Thank of your you. questions will be answered in this no, next part of looking the QMA. forward to, um, i actually am genuinely happy that yeah, you guys cool. got to this point where it's uh, getting productized and uh, I'm totally looking to turn my users into some guinea pigs. Cool. Thanks for that, Waka. Invite them but to also the, the short, 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 short addition to that. Is that it's, it's a product. It's an open source product. Um, the documentation about how to set it up and get the whole system running is not done yet. It will be done in a few days, weeks, months. Uh, as soon as possible, um, but there will be a website describing how you set it up from scratch. It, it, it is available right now. It's not super well documented uh, yet. Sorry, what, yeah, no problem. <laughs> to add to what Christopher is saying, yes, this is very true. We are in the we are in the process. Like it's it's a product, but I think we haven't officially declared v1 yet so it's like we've started to deploy it. and this is why we're deploying it in common stack as well you know we are we're dog fooding this right now um and there's a lot of demands um we uh we are also uh in the process of deploying it for the gnosis chain validators um their community has approved uh, a proposal to deploy it there uh, and Giveth is in the process of um, requesting from their community funding to deploy it. Uh, they already use Praise, but they are not using this new Praise system yet. So to deploy it there as well. There's really a lot of demand, Waka, and you could uh, reach out to me anytime or Rachel, who is the deployment project manager, and we'd be happy to, uh, to assist you with getting your community informed on what the process would be to to either follow the documentation as it becomes available or to uh, to request the help from Common Stack team to deploy. And I want to talk a little bit about the deployment process because it's an overall process that uh, Common Stack is using for any community to deploy Praise. It's also the uh, protocol that will open up for any community that wants to follow this process themselves. But it's relevant to us here at Common Stack, of course, because this is a process we're following for ourselves. So uh, it takes a few months to deploy Praise. It's not necessarily just a technical tool. It's a cultural tool for the community. So um, we uh, have finished step one. We, are, we prepared the stakeholders. Um, uh, Jean A is the Praise lead. Maria is the uh, Praise mentor in the community. And there's a reward team as well that Rachel will be presenting uh, as long as, along with some of decisions that came out of this, uh, these working sessions. Mm -hmm. But it's where the rewards team makes decisions about um, governance decisions, quantification configurations, uh, teams and roles. Um, and then the technical deployment uh, happens along with preparing the community. So we are in step three right now. This is officially preparing the community. So giving a demo of what's working, um, everything that Christopher just shared, uh, a little bit about the results analysis and um, uh, starting to share our, our documentation as well. Uh, what's going to happen next, so what's still to come for a common stack, is we will officially launch Praise, and that really means um, taking the Praise that we have and starting the quantification process. 
So the new praise is officially live on our uh, Discord now. The old and new praise will run along with each other for a number of weeks, and then we'll just uh, end the old praise bot as people become uh, as people activate their accounts on the new praise bot. Um, we will uh, be doing some um, outreach for activation to get the common stack community to activate their praise, uh, training quantifiers, and then supporting these small batch quantifications while the quantifiers learn how to quantify and, um, and, and do, do it well, as well as the first few distributions. And then lastly, uh, we'll do this internally ourselves, but would also do this with communities that we're working with, um, have these monthly follow-up checkpoints specifically to do uh, cultural analysis checks. So to make sure that the objectives that we identified in step one, uh, so our intentions for having praise in this community are actually being realized, uh, or if there are some changes that we need to make. Um, and um, and just getting a feel for the community sentiment as well. So um, that's the praise deployment process in a nutshell, pretty straightforward. And I will pass to Rachel, who is going to share the steps, uh, the results for step one from uh, the work that we did with ourselves, Common Stack. Yeah, thank you, Tam. Um, could you please share your screen? The I, yeah. I am sharing my screen, but unfortunately, my screen gets a bit laggy. Is it is it working? No, I can't see. It. So the part where the decisions, the decisions part. Um, that is, I believe, what I'm showing. Unfortunately, I can't. See. The decision can part is, is showing on, on my screen at least. It's, uh, okay. It's a blue and green uh, columns are, are clearly okay, visible okay. here. All right, thank you. So I'd like to take this time to quickly go through the some of the important decisions made by the rewards team, as well as the governance and quantification decisions. So firstly, I'll go through the roles. On your left, we have the members of the rewards team, Inesi, Maria, Christopher, Olivia, Griff, and I and will be responsible for making decisions about the configuration of praise, as well as for managing the quantification process and the distribution of tokens. And next we have the praise lead, Yunesi, who is the main praise point of contact for the community. She will be interacting with the community the most. So she's responsible for recruiting quantifiers, opening and closing quant periods, and hosting the quant review sessions. We have the praise, the praise minter, Maria, which is, is more of a technical role. She'll be responsible for submitting the votes to the DAO, minting the trust tokens, and sharing the results of the distribution. And finally, we have the cultural analyst, Livia. Uh, she will be responsible for evaluating the analysis uh, and community sentiment about whether praise is actually meeting uh, objectives. Okay, which leads us to the first question. Uh, why do we need praise? Uh, some of the important reasons given is, firstly, to increase the trust reputation of our contributors, to build community by also rewarding outside contributors, to create greater sense of belonging, create culture of gratitude, to surface unseen work, which would otherwise go unnoticed, and to track those who are actively contributing as well as help those not contributing much to find path. Uh, some examples of, of praise we consider valuable are praise that show participation or tangible work in the community, peer recognition for sharing experience or knowledge. For example, I praise Christopher for teaching me X or giving me Y perspective praising community members that bring in new leads, new connection, or new business. Um, we're also looking to pull people from outside communities that show extra engagement into our community. Um, yeah, after every quantification session, we plan on sharing the results on, on our Discord server 
via email and on the trusted seat dashboard we're also looking to create like a, a short a brief content to to show for example the top 10 ranked praise for the month and the big question is who can dish praise anybody can dish praise everybody can receive praise and also praise can be done in channel however activating the praise giver role will be done specifically on the praise channel so yeah we have a separate channel for praise and that is where the activation will be done and yeah uh, moving to the quantification decision Yes. So, so yeah, who can quantify the print quantifier? Yes. If anyone is interested in being a quantifier, you can feel free to reach out to to Yini, the praise lead, and yeah, she will put you through. And the number of quantifiers we need depends on the quantity of praise we have per period, and. An ideal, an ideal number of quantifiers per praise should be three. So this means that for every praise, there will be three quantifiers to quantify that praise. And then the average of each score given by the quantifiers will be assigned to the praise. Uh, praise will not be pseudonymous. Instead, the real names of praise givers will, and receivers will be displayed. Um, we also decided that 30% um, of um, 30% of the duplicates, 30% of the original praise will be given to duplicates, and 10% will be given to praise giver, 10% to the praise quantifier, 5% to the rewards team. And let me quickly rush through the governance decision. So the tokens will be held in Aragon DAO, and the voting parameters will be eight voters and four votes needed. Um, minting will be done in batches of 30 and each batch has, has to be voted. And tokens will be minted and, and the, the quantification session that each, each quant will, will be monthly. And yeah. Finally, we also uh, and I think a little technical, but I think the imp um, uh, oh, yeah, I see a question from Sigrid. Just let me finish just one thought. I think the important part here is sort of how is this different than the how we're currently doing praise? Um, the governance decisions are more or less the same, um, but I would say you know right now we aren't necessarily quantifying. I mean, praising the quantifiers or praise givers. And that's something that um, that will change as well as uh, percentage to the rewards team. So people that are uh, able to join the quantifier uh, group and quantify will also get a, a, a trust score increase for for quantifying praise. Uh, so I see Siegfried has another question. Let me just hop there. Uh, would you say using the praise system is more helpful the more people a group has and the more distributed equal less in-person contacts? So you mean the larger the community, the more helpful praise? Is that the question, Siegfried? Yes. Um, yeah, I think that's a great question. I think it certainly helps. I'm going to sh stop sharing my screen because my computer is getting a little laggy. Um, I think it's a great question. I think it's great for gr large communities because it brings up, it's un it surfaces so much invisible work that happens in a community, uh, whereas small communities, like, like you know, a small group of 10 people tend to know what everyone else is doing when there's... 50, you know, 80, 100 members in a community. It's um, a lot of work that you find, you discover when you read through the praise channel and you're discovering work that's happening. Livia, do you want to add anything to that answer? Yeah, I, I think it's actually um, a tool that can work 
work well in both situations. We haven't seen it happening in a super scalable uh, manner yet. Like, we have, have around 300 people that have used praise, praise in the TEC and distribution. The reputation and participation of people based on uh, the actions that are being praised. Cool, thanks. And we do have a question around who can quantify. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to ask the praise lead for Common Stack, Gine. Um, who who's able from the Common Stack community to join in quantification? Oh, your audio isn't coming through, Gine. Oh. Sorry. Thanks, Tam. <laughs> well, well, basically, all our community members are invited to become uh, quantifiers. Uh, basically, what you need is to feel the vibe of being grateful. What? <laughs> With uh, the contribution that we are currently uh, making in the ecosystem. But yeah, basically it's that. So you can uh, reach me out whenever you want. If you want to better understand how is the process the to be a system. Is the more hours will be needed to be worked on, but also the more people there will be to share those hours, so the work a little bit more. So there's more people working, but working less on the praise system. So we have, um, well, in the common stack, it has, it was very time intensive with the old system, but with the new one, it will probably require an hour or 45 minutes of one person every two weeks. I mean, of maybe around 10 people, but individually just 45 minutes every two weeks to quantify. And then um, also managing the distribution and minting of tokens. And that takes about, I don't know, maybe half hour or two of someone's time. And then discussions of how to set the parameters and, and um and how to share the analysis. So it's probably around uh Christopher. That's a uh, difficult to determine. Um so it's all depending on, on the, the amount of praise. Uh, but I believe that the amount of praise usually goes hand in hand with the community becoming bigger and then the, the work. So, so the goal is to not, not make the workload bigger if, if the amount of praise increases, but instead add more quantifiers so as to, to, to keep the workload on, on a manageable level. I, I'd say the... I believe that the ideal would be like maximum 30 minutes uh, per quantifier every two I mean, I can speak from personal experience having quantified on the common stack old praise system and then quantifying in the new praise system. And it used to be at least two hours, even with three people. And, and now it's probably about 20 minutes per quant. 
And it's actually a gentleman you pray system is um, so much faster and so much more fun because it's, uh, you know, it's a, a dashboard that makes it very easy rather than like these old spreadsheets that we used to go in, which served the purpose. But um, I think, uh, I think we scaled out of spreadsheets and it's, it's uh, nice to have a tool now to, to quantify. Yeah. And I, I think we also need to appreciate the, that feedback is work you know, uh, feed, but it also makes the system more valuable. So it's like, how much time do we spend doing review calls with people on an individual basis and giving feedback and stuff? And then if you don't have managers, how do you do that as a DAO? And how do you give people feedback? And, and so like the, the work that is put into praise is not work that's wasted, you know, it's not bureaucratic work. It's actually like, uh, you know, the people who are quantifying, they get to learn who everyone is in the DAO and what they're doing lately and where where action is happening. They might find out that a really cool project is happening that they want to be a part of and they'll jump in it. Um, and so like there's a lot of extra value adds that it's like the praise work is a net positive uh, beyond. Uh, it's it's It feels to me more like, okay, yes, we're distributing tokens to people, right? Uh, and for distributing the tokens that distributing tokens is going to take work of course distributing reputation but on top of that while we're distributing reputation in a decentralized way we're also uh, connecting people and informing the whole community about the nitty-gritty details about what is happening in in the various corners and it allows for serendipity and and a lot of other interesting uh, dynamics that that you really can't get if if you're just if if you look at it from a top level view it's like well let's just have one person give tokens to people to, to distribute reputation. It would be more efficient hour-wise, but I, you wouldn't get all these nice second-order effects. Yeah, so, so if, if uh, Praise would have a, a slogan, or I, I often when I talk to people about, about Praise, I talk about building a, a culture of giving and gratitude, that the act of praising and quantifying is the act of building the, the community. Just by, like Griff said, that by, by learning who is in the community, getting to know them, getting to know their contributions. So, uh, you know, it's really important to do this as a distributed process where many people participate. And I think there are any other questions from from the community because I think we have one last thing to do before we wrap up this call. Okay, so um, we have an amazing tradition here at Common Stack, which is to celebrate people's birthdays. And somebody on this call today has a birthday, and we would love if everyone could turn on your video if you're feeling comfortable. <laughs> and <laughs> help us celebrate the birthday of somebody who's very important to us and also Un very important to praise. Unmute the mic. Unmute the mic. Get your singing voices ready. Unmute your mics. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Unmute the mic. I Usama Yeah okay. okay yeah yeah here we go I be on me you Rachel Happy birthday to you. so much. And actually, it, this feels a little bit like a birthday present to, to myself or, or getting to the point that we've been in building this thing since last fall and now we're launching it for the t for for common stack of course it feels like a real like a milestone getting like it feels like this is the ver version one even though it's not really yet but but almost and uh, yeah it's um uh, it's good that it, it, this happened today actually thank you so much thank you christopher thanks for spending your birthday with us in this call for sure cool i'm and having a drink waiting for me downstairs 
Well, thanks everyone for joining today and uh, get, hope everyone is able to uh, activate their praise and start using it. And please feel free to reach out to any of us at Common Stack. Uh, but if you're interested about more things in praise, of course, Christopher is manager. Um, and Gina is the praise lead, Maria is the praise mentor, uh, Rachel is the uh, praise deployment PM. Right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Praise everyone for Bye, seeing. Bye everyone. <laughs> and